unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options. Welcome. GP Rewards. Find new summer adventures. Find new roads. The open road is waiting. GM employees with a current eligible Chevy. Good race, good race, y'all. Blazer for $295 a month. Chevrolet, the best selling family of SUVs in Metro Detroit. Chevy drives the Motor City. Good race. Would you like to win a custom built chopper while helping our veterans at the same time? Then watch as we turn this fight into a one of a kind classic chopper. Watch the Call Sam Chopper Shop on our social media channels and get your raffle ticket today at callsam.com backslash chopper shop. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Bet and GM Lag Dealer. All your favorite casino games Blackjack, Poker, Roulette, Trap, and more. All on your phone, desktop, or tablet 24 7. Play with friends or make new ones at the table. Double down, Dave. Chat with players and lag dealers like you're at the casino. Did you turn? <laughs> now you're betting with a king lag dealer. Get a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 when you use bonus code LIGHTDEAL. Yeah. All Gardner White schools are celebrating our biggest grand opening in our 100-year history. Save up to 80% off on Detroit's largest selection of top-made brand mattresses with 0% financing up to 60 months. Wow. Start a just 6 dollars with a free power base. I need, mean, like, all that, whatever. Lowest price ever on Zero Perfect Sleeper Queen mattresses. $2.99. All right, cool.
Okay, now, okay. The escalating situation in Afghanistan where thousands of Americans are frantically trying to get out of there as the Taliban seizes control rapidly in that country. It's so troubling to see what's happening there. This is all after U.S. troops were recently pulled from the region after 20 years there. Republicans are blaming the White House for the chaos, while the Biden administration is pointing fingers at a deadline set by the Trump administration to withdraw from Afghanistan and Afghan security forces. James Church members had died. 
Yeah, Keith, the red, that's a legend right there. That boy fast, man. Advanced Child Credit or, frankly, anything else. 
If you get that phone call, especially one threatening to have you arrested or there's a warrant out for your arrest, no, this is not the IRS. And in fact, they say just hang up the phone. We have expanded child tax credit information and also more on IRS scam protections linked at our website on the Money Monday page at clickonthetroit.com. Yeah. All Gardner White stores are celebrating our biggest grand opening in our 100-year history. Save up to 80% off on Detroit's largest selection of top name brand mattresses with 0% financing up to 60 months. Like Serta Queen, just $6.99. With a free power bank. Serta any size, $99. Lowest price ever on Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen mattresses, $2.99. All in stock and ready for free same-day delivery. This is why there's Gardner White and no one else. It's Wednesday, 9 p.m. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we built FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more, more ways to bet, more ways to fund your account, more ways to cash in, and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 24 hours. You want more? You got it. Place your first bet risk-free and get up to $1,000 back if you don't win. Looking for traffic is sponsored by Wallside Windows, where we make windows and build careers. For hiring opportunities, visit wallside.com slash careers. Welcome back, everybody. Take a look at this. Search and rescue efforts are continuing in Haiti after this weekend's earthquake struck there. The Haitian government has declared a state of emergency in response to this quake that hit on Saturday. The death toll right now has climbed to over 1,200 people and nearly 3,000 injured. To make rescue efforts even more challenging, Tropical Storm Grace is expected to pass over Haiti today. And Tropical Storm Fred continues to move north in the Gulf of Mexico, strengthening slightly as it continues its path. Gulf Shores, Alabama is distributing a limited amount of sand, and some residents are taking advantage of the offer as they prepare their houses. The storm is expected to be off the coast of the Florida Panhandle uh, later on this evening. Now, I went to high school in the Panhandle, and I remember Hurricane Elena back in 87. It's, uh, it can be kind of frightening. Yes, and this one will likely not reach hurricane strength, but it's still tropical storm, 50 to maybe 70 mile an hour winds. That storm surge is really dangerous too, because even though it's forecast and people expect it, it takes some by surprise. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it when a wall of water is crying at your house. Well, we've got uh, Fred and Grace that we're tracking, but this is the location of the uh, 7.2 magnitude earthquake from Saturday and on the exact same fault line as the earthquake that hit the Port-au-Prince area back in 2010. And again, that insult to injury now. Luckily, Grace down in the tropics is not yet a even a tropical storm, but 50 mile an hour winds from this storm still whipping around. So you're going to get crazy rain and wind over the next 24 hours in parts of Haiti. Uh, and then tropical storm uh, as we head into tomorrow, just south of Cuba. But not taking a turn to the U.S., according to the latest uh, National Hurricane Center computer model runs here and has it bearing down really on Mexico, maybe South Texas. We'll have to watch Grace, but Fred, more of an impact for us. We've got 50s and low 60s and a little cloud cover out there. Expect more and more clouds to be filling in through the morning. And shower chances in our south zone through the morning and into southern Ontario as well. Better chances for the rest of us later this afternoon. Middle 70s today, a little more muggy. And the remnants of Fred eventually, once it comes on land here, will have more of an impact on us on Wednesday, Thursday, but it is pushing everything north, so we get more showers, more clouds, more humidity as well. Uh, with a few breaks in the clouds, Tuesday, we're into the low 80s, but still expect some of those scattered showers coming and going, and this will be through the day, through the overnight, no nonstop washouts, but just got little stretches of wet weather coming at us from this 
spread business down in the Gulf. But I think Wednesday, Thursday, we could get some periods of some of the heaviest rains more directly connected, said Fred. Jason, look at the roads. Right, said Fred. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. We have a map here to show you. Uh, Sky 4 is also over an accident at southbound Gratia at Mount Elliott. Traffic is getting by on the, or in the left lane there. Turning our attention this morning to consumer headlines, a warning for T-Mobile users, but first, a big boost for the nation's food assistance program. Maribel Aber is standing by live at the Money Desk with more. Happy Monday. Good morning, Rhonda. The Biden administration plans to increase food stamp benefits by more than 25% for the 42 million people on the program. That will give Americans enrolled in the food <coughs> program more money to buy groceries. The Agriculture Department is revising the list of foods used to estimate the cost of a nutritious diet. It will be a 25% increase to what people were receiving pre-pandemic. Right now, there's a temporary 15% boost to food stamp benefits provided by pandemic relief legislation that is set to expire at the end of September. T-Mobile is investigating an alleged data breach that may potentially affect over 100 million of its customers. The data breach claim was made on a forum post, which was first reported by Vice's motherboard. According to the underground forum post, the hacker is asking for Bitcoin in exchange for private data. The hacker claimed to be selling data which came from T-Mobile servers, including full customer information like social security numbers and driver's license information. The hacker told Motherboard that T-Mobile regained control of its servers, but only after personal data had already been downloaded. Disney's newest theatrical release, Free Guy, brought in over $28 million in its opening weekend nationwide at the box office. The film was originally forecast to make between 15 to 20 million in its first three days. It made around 51 million dollars globally. According to film star Ryan Reynolds, Disney is interested in creating a sequel to Free Guy. The film was a theatrical only release, which means it did not release simultaneously on Disney Plus, which had become a trend during the pandemic. I gotta say, Ryan, that Ryan Reynolds has really developed himself into like a really leading role guy. His comedy is on point. At least sarcastic. Easy. Moving from table to table, easy. And getting your winnings. 
delivered straight to your bank account, well, you get it. Join today and play your first 24 hours risk-free. Get up to a $1,000 back if you don't win. These are crazy times. Your favorite breakfast place doesn't open till 4. What used to be down the street is now only online. But there's one company that still gets the job done. Wall side windows. It's a habit we've had for 77 years. That's a tough race right there, man. Treating homeowners right and saving them money. For a limited time, get half off every window you buy. Plus, five years, no interest. No down payment. Schedule your safe at home or virtual estimate today at wallside.com. For the best in sales, service, and selection, hit the Golan Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, your Jeep dealer. During the May 5th, the summer is here. Get the highway in the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 for as little as 228 a month employee, 279 for... That was a great race, my man. Lion. He is doing my pitch strategy. He is tough that, uh, that, that hard tire at the end. And I put him in the pit, man. I think that's what he caught. Look at this dude. That was super cool, y'all. Thanks for coming, and uh, make sure y'all keep it fast and walk good.